All right, this is a tutorial for Block Drops Tweaker. Uh, this mod allows you to tweak drops of any block, including other modded blocks. So basically, um, if you haven't already, please copy paste the example configuration, uh, which can be found in the mod page. And you'll get something like this. Now, it might seem a little bit confusing, but it's actually really simple. So keep that in mind that by default, this mod doesn't affect any blocks. So if you want to uh, change a drop of a block, you need to explicitly say which block it is. So how do you say which block you want to change the drop off? Well, pretty much uh, you put this uh, key in here. Uh, which means uh, in this quotation, this is this first um, word is your item ID or the block ID, which is in this case stone, and then you put a comma, and after that you put the metadata, which can be zero, one, or asterisk, which means that it will affect all the stone of every metadata and then if you go down you should see a chance which just basically uh, did uh, the chance of for the drop so in here if it was 1.0 it would be a hundred percent chance for this item for this block to drop the items so 0 0.1 means it's 10 percent chance the fortune level override um, just um, if it's on then the fortune level of your pick will increase the chance for you getting the drop so if it was false then the fortune level wouldn't matter then we have the silk touch overwrite which basically means if it's on then uh, silk touch won't affect the block drop so you could mine stone and you would get stone instead of this block drops if you had a silk touch. So yeah, and then you can put even more blocks as much as you want. So this is not an easy way to configure, although due to the limitation of the configuration system by the forge, you'll have to actually um, add the blocks first you want. So just copy paste this and keep adding bunch of blocks and don't worry about the settings just keep adding the blocks you want to change the uh, drops for and then once you do that and once your minecraft has launched you can go to the block drops tweaker configuration and then you should be able to configure it better using this as you see, there's no way to change the blocks here, only the settings and the drops of the block. So let me join in on a world really quickly and show you how it works. So as you noticed, if you haven't, uh, it's set to 10% chance. So if I were to put a couple of stone, regular stone, and go to survival and use a normal pick then there's a 10% chance that I get the drops there you go got the drop there however if I have fortune 3 or any other tools that gives you that fortune level then I would get it almost all the time all right uh, let me drop these Alright, so now um, if I go back and increase the chance to 1.0, which is 100% chance, then it will give me all the time the drops. Now, let me sh teach you the most, uh, I guess, the complicated bits, which is the block drops. So basically, uh, when you're configuring the drops of the block, you can have a lot of items as the drops. 
and what chooses this um, drops depend on the weight of the drop itself. So let's start from the beginning. There's your item ID right here and then there's a comma and then there's the amount of that drop and then comma and then it's the metadata of the ID of the item and then there's a pipe symbol which separates these from the weight which is the last number you see it's 96 that's the weight and I'm using weight as some uh, as a chance so 96 percent chance of getting an iron ingot and 4 percent chance of getting a gold that's the most easiest way to use weight so yeah that's basically how this works so I will get gold anytime soon come on you can modify almost pretty much any blocks you want mod it vanilla there you go I got gold and also if you haven't noticed if I go back to the block tweakers it has a wildcard for the metadata which means I can use any kind of stone like this but if I were to go back and change this well I will have to go back to the actual config and if I set it to zero then it would only work for stone and not other variants of stone <clears throat> so yeah that's pretty much how to use this mod See you guys later.